Every year on October 1st, people across China raise the flag in commemoration of the founding of the People's Republic of China. Joshua Wong has been trying to attend his local flag raising ceremony in Hong Kong for the past three years, but has not been allowed in by the authorities. This year, they finally let him in, but when the flag rose, he crossed his arms and turned his back. <laughs> On the Hong Kong subway, he looks like any other kid, but this 17-year-old is far from ordinary. He leads a student group known as Scholarism. 當一般的學生正在想緊怎樣去為自己的未來讀書、學業或者事業去籌謀的時候,他們就會去想到底香港的未來應該怎樣。In any given day, Mr. Wang gives dozens of interviews, appearing regularly on radio and television shows to talk about politics in Hong Kong. In recent months, he has become a symbol for democracy across the island. In July, he helped rally over 300,000 people to the streets of Hong Kong for an annual pro-democracy march and the right to choose their next leader. On August 31st, the Chinese government reneged on a promise made in 2007 to give Hong Kong citizens universal suffrage for the 2017 elections. And Mr. Wong's prediction turned true. Just days ahead of a planned Occupy movement, a new wave of protests led by Mr. Wong turned violent. And Mr. Wong was arrested and taken away. In Mr. Wong's 48-hour detention, students continue to occupy and sleep in the central business district of Hong Kong and are calling for Hong Kong's leader, Lung Chunying, to step down. On Wednesday afternoon, both the students and central government showed no sign of giving in to each other's demands, and Mr. Wong continues to fight for democratic reform. <laughs> Every year on October 1st, people across China raise the flag in commemoration of the founding of the People's Republic of China. Joshua Wong has been trying to attend his local flag raising ceremony in Hong Kong for the past three years, but has not been allowed in by the authorities. This year, they finally let him in, but when the flag rose, he crossed his arms and turned his back. 
on the Hong Kong subway, he looks like any other kid, but this 17-year-old is far from ordinary. He leads a student group known as Scholarism. 当一般嘅学生净系谂紧点样去为自己嘅未来读书、诶、呃、学业